In this exercise, we are going to bring in a scanned drawing of a floor plan. And what we're going to do is actually clean up the drawing with the speckling tool, as well as um, realign those grid lines so they are horizontal and vertical. First, I'm going to insert an image. Then notice all the little speckles all over this um, scanned image. So what we're going to do is go to the cleanup pull down, despeckle, zoom into one of these speckles, click on it, and notice all the red uh, dots all over the sheet. Let's go ahead and hit enter and that will delete all the speckles. Let's do it again. Clean it up a little bit more. Same steps. There you go. I want to clean this up a even a little bit more so there's still some bigger speckles I want to get rid of. There you go. Hit enter and looks a lot better now. Next, what we want to do is um, just to show you how this line is not vertical, and I'm going to use one of these raster snaps, so I can actually snap on raster lines. Turn that on, snap onto the end point of this uh, number four line. Come down, turn on my ortho and notice it's a little bit off so we're gonna use this rubber sheeting tool to fix that there we go rubber sheet tool click on the grid parameters so we're gonna actually create a grid line with this tool so I'm going to count my number of uh, rows and columns and insert that in this dialog box. Also pick an origin right on this bottom left corner. There. And finally I'm going to pick on uh, for the cell size. I'm also just going to pick. So I'm going to click on the corners of uh, um, this grid right here. And finally, I'm going to actually round up the numbers there. There we go. I can preview this, and there's all my grid boxes that's created with my rubber sheeting tool. So notice there's a little bit of inconsistency in there. I'm actually missing one of those cells, so to fix that, come back into my dialog box and add another row, and there we have it. So next, I'm going to add these points to match up with my destination point. So I'm going to start up with a source point and then a destination point. I'm going to turn off all my snaps. So I want to bring uh, the point from my image to the the actual grid line that was created with my rubber sheeting tool. I'm going to go through all these corners and there it is. I can also export this data out. I could do a preview. If I do a preview, there notice uh, all these little um, points, so I'm going to stretch. So that green line is what I'm going to stretch to. I'm going to go OK. Give it a few seconds to regenerate the model. Okay. So just to show that these grid lines are now vertical and horizontal, I'm going to create a vertical line, snap onto the endpoint once again, 
turn on my ortho and now it matches up a lot better and there you have it